Yo, it's out here. Open beta for Magic Legends coming out soon. So I just got an email regarding an article regarding IGN that um, they made a trailer here. So we're just gonna go over the article. I'm just gonna read it uh, and react to this, right? Figuring out how to adapt a classic collectible card game like Magic the Gathering into the more action focused game genre isn't an easy task. Luckily, isometric action RPGs like Diablo apparently lend themselves quite well to the deep lore, deceptively complex mechanic, the underlying sense of constant action that pervades magic. It's a tall order for Magic Legends, an online action RPG stated to hit open beta for PC on March 23rd. 2021 dude i am so excited we're gonna be streaming that for sure on twitch.tv slash visante hopefully you guys are gonna be there to enjoy it with me and a game of magic can sometimes take hours to finish depending on how slowly turns unfold or how skilled the players are the first order of business to blend that property into a fast-paced action rpg and is to eliminate turn order and condense down to constants notably Love developers have been careful to no longer describe Magic Legends as an MMO at all, but a persistent online RPG instead. Oh, wait, is it, is it still MMO? I want it to be an MMO, but okay. Um, interesting. I remember back in the day, I would have a Goblin deck, and then I had a Black deck, and then I went to an Artifact deck with Mirrodin. Um, I think afterwards, I kind of dropped off, but... Alright, so why don't we watch this first? Right. Let's see if I make this widescreen. Okay, cool. Hi, I'm Adam Hitaney. I am the design lead on Magic Legends here at Cryptic Studios. And Magic Legends is an online action RPG where you step into the role of a powerful, magic-wielding planeswalker to take on the ancient forces of destruction threatening to tear the multiverse okay. apart. Yeah, so it does so in have order to the same these challenges, players will need to master of Diablo deck to construct a deck of powerful, deck synergistic building. spells capable of standing up to these emerging uh, threats. To so the instead of skills, I mean skills and stuff, you have decks. And those are the cards they're using for your skills. Much like the card game that inspired us, in Magic Legends, a Planeswalker wow. spell deck from their hype. magical ability manifested into powerful spells. Your deck is composed of 12 unique spells that your Planeswalker can cast during combat, with four of these spells being available at a time, cycling randomly after use. Uh, these spells are chosen oh, from among nice. Magic's five colors of mana, each with their own distinctive mechanics and characteristics. For instance, white spells manifest the restorative power of light in order to heal allies. Yeah, and what, what color do I want to go as? Enemies and exert control on the battlefield. Black spells tap into necromantic power to reanimate the dead and drain life. Red spells harness Is there the colorless? elemental forces to deal direct damage. Green spells embrace the ferocity of the wild to summon and nourish massive creatures. So not only is your deck your arsenal of spells, it also is your overarching strategic approach on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. It's your army, your defenses, and your firepower all in one. Yeah. When you embark on your journey through go. the multiverse, you will begin with a pre-constructed deck tied to the color of your selected Planeswalker class. While this might be your starting deck, however, branching out to include other colors and swap out spells will be mm. key to your progression and crafting your own ultimate deck. How do I deal with Over mana, though? the course of your adventure, you will discover, earn, and collect new spells that you can use to customize your spell deck. Any class can build and use any deck, regardless of the color themes associated with each. So you might have selected uh. the blue aligned Mind Mage class, but Go you might black. find yourself not playing any blue spells at all, instead opting for a red-green deck and still be highly effective in the game. So, so certain colors naturally complement How do you do with mana? Whites oh, you can see on the bottom? And black's life-draining abilities. You can combine Wait. these together to sustain you Jeez. and your creatures on the battlefield. As you progress through the multiverse, you'll find and earn mm, there's a bar on the pages bottom. of specific spells. When you collect enough spell pages, you harvest enough ether for mission content, then you'll be able to upgrade your spell's rank and in turn their effectiveness up to a maximum level of 10. 10. The spells that you collect wow. fall into three categories. Creature spells are the army of magical beings that you can summon and bend to your will. You might summon massive beings. So everyone could be a summoner, angels, pretty much. Towards the undead, or any number of other creatures from around the multiverse. Enchantment spells create an ongoing effect for a set amount of time, which can synergize with other spells that you're casting. Sorcery spells are How do you target powers which can quickly turn the tides of battle in your favor. Bathe your foes in dragon fire, nourish your summoned creatures, or simply every, But everything technically like it could be instant, right? 
Mm. As with Tabletop Magic the Gathering, spells also come in four different rarities. Common, Uncommon, Rare, and Mythic Rare. Oh, damn. You may find that you want to build decks with focus on spells of higher rarities and then supplement your deck with spells of lower rarities to complement its core mechanics. For example, the Goblin Rush enchantment creates a 1-1 Goblin whenever you cast a sorcery. You can pair this with the Goblin Warlord, who grants plus 1, plus 0 to all your creatures, and then also grants swiftness to all your goblins. Additionally, you want to keep a large nice. number of low to medium cost damage sorcerers in your deck to keep churning out those goblins. Though the possibilities for deck construction are near limitless, there are some restrictions. Currently, decks are limited to spells of one or two colors at a time. Two-color deck building is unlocked early in okay. your game in your own personal meditation realm. So two only. Creature summon spells are restricted by a total of 12 creature points in your deck. The more oh. significant impact a creature Damn, will have you can't go full out summoner. Field, the higher its creature point count will be. That means that you decide whether to focus on fewer, tougher summons or more numerous but individually weaker ones, which can totally determine your approach on the battle. Can you get more creature With points these deck eventually? Building basics under your belt, you should be ready to craft the ultimate spell deck and take on any forces that threaten the multiverse. Thanks for joining us, and remember to follow us on socials and our website for the latest updates on Magic Legends. I'm already following. They're having a live stream, I believe, as well. Dude. Let's go. I don't know what deck I'm going to build, though, but let's go. Why not go Goblin and then rush them? Goblin rush? I kind of like blue, though. The flying types. I wonder if it's like if it's flying, they can't attack. Uh, ground units can't attack unless it has range. Maybe. Ooh, the, the red character looks good. All right. Go back down here. Uh, yeah, OK. Um, if you ever played Diablo, Torchlight, Path, Exile, um, then you have a good idea what the specter of the camera position isosymmetric. Yeah, yeah, we saw that. Unless you have dedicated instance story mission, you can run into other players in the world. Okay, so this uh, semi MMO, it's, it's gonna be like how you say death. No, is it? It's like when you, you, you can run around and then you can join instance and then it will become your own world just for that area. And then once you're done with that quest, you go come out of it. So it's not quite of a massive scale. Oh, Stream Raiders battle. Okay. Um, you begin to by selecting your personal planeswalker with three main character defining choices: your loadout, gear, artifacts, your class, and your deck. Your okay, so you can pick art artifacts. Mm, I'm just curious of the artifacts though. So we have secondary special attack and utility dash, like jumping at Geomancer, and then your deck act like your deck of cards from actual CCG. Dude, I'm looking at the video and I'm like, oh my god. Can't wait, man. March? Ah, it needs to come sooner. <laughs> you, you select an assortment of spells. Every card in Magic is a spell. And you need to build it to a mixture of creature summoning spells, sorcery, arcane, magic spells, and enchantments. From what I've seen, just like actual Magic, that building is a huge part of... Legends and it comes down to how your hand is shuffled. Um, so you customize your deck. Is there a deck size? Minimum deck size, I'm assuming, or maximum. Or you can set out the quest. You need to customize your deck. Twelve cards at a, at this time. Okay, twelve cards at a time. Twelve cards or was it the twelve points? <laughs> Since that directly affects which card randomly drawn to your hand, four at a time. Okay, so the twelve cards. And a unique curveball used to mix up is. That the buttons for using their card spells randomly assigned each time. Oh damn, okay. So if you have like one, two, three, four, sometimes that one will be a different one. And then it could be the same spell, but it'll be in a different slot, then you gotta press three for that spell. <laughs> the same spell, right? Magaverse could be a B button for one moment, and then when you cast it, and eventually it comes back, it'll be X this time. So they're talking with like different controller. Um, another interesting aspect is how they chosen to handle mana costs. Oh, there we go. This is what I want to know. In CCG, you have limited amount of mana resource that slowly builds. I'm assuming you have spells that can increase your mana, like green, for example. You have a lot of mana producing stuff. The Magic Legend, the mana pool is begins large and split between color based on the ratio of colors in your deck. Oh, so that's the bar and you kind of see the other one that comes in. So they kind of grow in time. If you're exactly 50-50, white and blue, then so is your mana pool. But if it's 8 white and 4 blue, the mana pool is reflected, so the mana... Okay, proportional to the spells. Got you. Two players using the same, same class could build entirely 
entirely different characters based on which deck. What if they use the same deck too, right? Oh, we have another trailer here. There is a ton of strategy that goes into finding the right character build. Since your class itself cannot... Oh, wait. Your class itself can be different color from your deck spell. You can be extremely creative once you factor in all the different progression paths and build varieties. Two players can use the same class. And, yeah, I guess you can have... You know, like, I want to build the whatever arrow or whatever. Or not. Okay, let's watch this. It's only 52 minutes long. Is this what we've seen? No, I didn't see this yet. Free alpha. We got these orb jade shards behind them. It's a, it's a wind mage. I might go uh, the fire person, but I might not even build a fire deck. We'll see. Okay, now it's clear for some reason. It, I guess it took a while to load. Deck building aspect though. Damn. Damn. More. More. Damn. Uh, what I. Oh, I went back up. Okay. Similar to how. Similar to how you can swap decks between Magic the Gathering, you can swap decks and load out very easily and quickly in Magic Legends as well. Cryptic has done a remarkably efficient job of combining the aspects of Diablo of a Diablo-like game into the core of Magic the Gathering. Not all card game mechanics translate directly though. For example, in the game of Magic, the turn order usually dictates that if it's your turn, you declare which creature is attempting to attack the player, and then uh, other players choose to do which block. Abilities like trample, blocking, da da da. But that's just the gist, hmm. Trample's gonna be like go through defenses, right? <laughs> In Magic Gang, however, you can summon a creature typically follows you around and fights by your side based on its powers. You don't have to do a lot of micromanagement because of the churn of summoning. Casting new spells and resummoning is so rapid. As now, there is basic 1v- Oh, this PvP! Nice! Uh, focus directly seems to be mostly on the co-op side of things and experiment how various class and deck combos work together. The game flow is extremely different, but the Magic Flavors are absolutely still there. Watching the amazing iconic art. Oh, delightful. Right, let's, let's, let's watch some of these images here. Let's see. Oh, CGI videos, right? Oh, this is from the, the video that we saw when it first released, right? That being said, I definitely have my reservations about the monetization plan since Magic Gathering is a free-to-play game. I'm guessing like skins and stuff, and you can like change your, your, your loadout maybe? I don't know. Maybe get different character skins? Yeah, we'll have to see. When you first start out, you pick a single class to use with all others locked behind a paywall. Then using in-game currency that slowly accrue. Oh, maybe you can like pay for getting the in-game currency. Call planar mana or spend money directly from the cash shop. You can unlock other subsequent classes. I'm guessing class. How come? I... Okay. <laughs> other types of items available in the cash shop include convenience booster items and randomized card booster packs. You will not be able to buy, able to outright purchase specific spells or upgrade specific spells on your decks. You can't just buy spells. All oh, everything's a gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, doesn't sound like a pay to win system, which is good, but it definitely makes me curious what types of content for, will be for paying customer. There'll be Fortnite style battle pass. I might get that. We'll, we'll see how much it costs. Um, I know for Genshin Impact, it's like five, what, $10? Yeah. Or was it five? No, it was $10 for the battle pass. And then there's a special one, which is 20 as you play and rank up, you unlock new cosmetics, booster packs, and so on. After seeing the demo, I guess they can make money through booster packs for sure. This is gonna, it's gonna be a gotcha. Oh. Which is good. It definitely makes me curious what type of content for your customer to... Oh, I read that. After seeing the demo in action and getting into the nitty gritty details of deck building, extremely eager to try that for yourself. Yeah, me too. Me too. Damn, I'm hype. Oh my god. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be streaming it, so make sure to follow my Twitch 
when open beta drop i'll be playing it if you guys want to play with me let me know um like comment subscribe i will do magic the gathering stuff on this vid channel as well along with genshin and some other things i'll probably be working on like pso2 new genesis and with that later days